This video will show how to use Naviate's pipe trench subassemblies. For other Naviate pipe subassemblies, take a look at their individual videos. Use Naviate's pipe trench subassembly to import the pipe trench NV assembly into the drawing. The assembly consists of one subassembly. To edit the section, open properties and select the subassembly. For a complete list of settings, please refer to the help section. In this video, we'll go through the main things to be aware of. The side slope is set for the right and left side individually. Insulation is placed above the backfill and the depth is set using the insulation depth property. Set this to zero to get no insulation. Max offset is the maximum distance to the right and left of the alignment that the corridor can search for pipes. Pipes that are further away from the alignment will be ignored by the corridor. Min cover top is the distance for the backfill above the pipes. Measured from the outside top of the pipe. Min cover side is the distance from the outside edge of the pipe to the trench side. The property side cover from bottom sets if the value should be applied from the bottom of the pipe if it's set to yes or the middle outside of the pipe if it's set to no. Min pipe diameter is the threshold to get the volume of the pipes when creating a volume report. This does not affect which pipes are part of the corridor. Min base width is the minimum width at the base of the trench measured at the top of the bedding. Left and right extra base width adds distance to the right or left of the trench bedding. This creates an off-center trench. All the codes in the subassemblies can be changed to the user's preference. Use the trench corridor command to create a pipe trench. This is a standard Civil 3D corridor command. To have the corridor connect to the pipe networks, set the pipe networks in targets for the corridor. The pipe trench can handle anywhere from 1 to 9 networks as a target. There are also targets here that can further define the corridor. Pipes max offset will override the same setting in the subassembly and will set the max distance from the alignment to search for pipes. Trench bedding offset left and right can be used to widen the bedding, for example, when going around structures. Trench daylight offset left and right can be used to control where the trench sides meet the surface target. Note that this will override the side slopes in the subassembly and may cause the trench sides to have a negative slope. The elevation target for the trench bedding elevation can be used to change the elevation of the bedding with a profile line. Note that this will override the pipe target which normally controls where the bedding is placed. Click OK to create the corridor. If the corridor has bow ties, which is very normal with pipe trenches, the Naviate command import pipe trench corridor settings solves this by altering the frequency. When the command starts, select the corridor and press enter. Select the pipe trench sample corridor. In the description, there are directions on how to use the pipe sample corridor. Tick frequency and stations from the alignment interval. In the first box, set the general interval for the corridor. Under min distance from vertex, set the free distance on each side of the vertex. This should be roughly half the width of the trench. Fillet radius is by default set to 1mm, which means that each node of the alignment, a 1mm arc will be inserted. This is required to solve the bow ties. The command can also create surfaces from the corridor. Select the template surfaces here to use. Click OK to complete the command. If there are still bow ties, run the command again 
and increase the min distance from vertex.